Switch has created a one-of-a-kind way to experience life on the water with some of your favorite people. One of the newest innovations, which makes it easy to control, is the handlebar steering and console. This is also commonly called the helm of the boat. So once you're seated in the driver's seat, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is put on the safety lanyard, which you can see I have on my right hand. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is start the engine. So I'm gonna press the red button to start the engine. So one of the great things about the Sea-Doo Switch is we have an intelligent brake and reverse lever as well as intelligent throttle control. Your throttle will be on the right side of the handlebars and your brake system or your IBR will be on the left side. So with the throttle control, I start out in neutral when I turn the boat on and I'll see an N displayed on the screen. When I tap the right throttle control, I will then go into a forward motion. If you'd like to stop or go in reverse, you must tap the left brake lever one time, which will take you into neutral again. And if you hold down the left brake lever, it will take you into reverse. The handlebars make it super easy because everything you need is right at your fingertips. So when I'm going in reverse, I can go full left, and you can see that the boat rotates, or full right. So when I let go of the brake lever, I go back into neutral. So here as we're sitting, you can tell that this is a water jet drive boat. This means that I can also pivot while in neutral. So if I take my handle all the way to the right, you'll see we're starting to pivot to the right. And I can also take the handlebars fully to the left, and I'll start rotating to the left or the other direction. So on the left side of the controls, you have a mode button. If you click it once, you'll be in touring mode. If you click it twice, it'll put you into sport mode, which is more aggressive. If you move on to the third mode, it'll be ski mode, which is what you would use if you're towing a wakeboarder or a skier. And this can be a very difficult skill, so having this makes it much easier. Moving on to the last mode is Eco Mode. Our next button is at the very top. It's labeled VTS, which is Variable Trim System. If you're going through CHOP, you may want to press the up button on the trim, which will raise the bow of the boat. But if you're towing a wakeboarder or skier, you might want to press the down button, because then it will drop your trim lower and make it easier to tow them. On the right side of the left switch, you have a cruise control button. So once you've reached your desired speed, you can press this and you'll be ready to cruise. You can let off the throttle, and although you'll have to have your hands on the handlebars, you can just relax. Our last button in the center is labeled IDF. That's Intelligent Debris Free. It's a pump system, and the way that that works, if you've been on any other boat, you've probably had this happen. But sometimes you'll get weeds in the intake. Well, this makes that process very easy to get rid of them because by the push of a button, you reverse the water and essentially it will rid of the weeds and debris that are clogging the intake. On the right side of the handlebars, you have several different arrow buttons and an OK button. This allows you to navigate the menu, but also you can go through different settings. If you press the right or left button, you'll see you can view range, settings, RPMs, and you can also change from miles to kilometers. Below the handlebars, you have several different buttons. We have our bilge system, which is gonna rid of any excess water. We have our blower system, which we recommend that you turn on two minutes before starting the engine. We have cockpit lights and running lights so you can enjoy all of your evening cruises. And we also have the horn. Beep, beep. So you can notify people if they're in front of you, or maybe you're just saying hey to your friends. Riding the Sea-Doo Switch is already fun, but if you want to level up, there's the Sea-Doo Switch with Bluetooth. Your controls are going to be right here, the power button's in the center. You're going to turn it on, use your phone, go to Bluetooth settings, and find the device BRP Remote. You're going to connect your device, press play, and you'll be ready to jam out with all of your friends. On your Switch, you have total control just with your fingertips. After a few rides, you'll have full confidence to boat like a pro. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our Getting Started section on SeaDoo.com and follow us on social media. See you on the water.